The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. You are watching A Dose of Landis. I am your narrator, Paul Brandt. This is a press conference between Jeff Landis and Eddie Griswold. How's it going, sir? Hi, Jeff. How you doing, sir? Hi, Eddie. How you doing? Um, the first question that we would like to discuss is how did you two meet? Jeff, would you take the yes. podium? Thank you very much for hosting the show for me. You're welcome. Um, of course, this is Ados Landis. Uh, how I met this guy, uh, we were childhood friends. I don't remember all how we met, I just know we were childhood friends. We grew up on William Street. I think it was pretty much William Street. Uh, we burned toast together at one time, it was that apartment. And like I said, we've had show, shared a lot of memories together. We've done a lot together. So as kids, I don't remember everything that we did, but I know we spent some time together. As we, we were good friends, we got along. So yeah, good. Introduce people to yourself, go ahead. I am Evan Griswold. I knew this man since he, we both was in diapers, and I came up to him one time on William Street when he was doing show wrestling shows, and I asked him because I told him I wanted to join because I wanted to be a wrestler. And now look at me now. I'm doing the indie circuit, and now I'm here with this man again. So I'm going to step back and sit down and wait to the next question. <clears throat> Okay, Jeff, uh, tell us a little bit about pro wrestling between the two of you. Thank you. Well, how it came about between me and him reconnecting again, we were uh, doing, I was doing my backyard wrestling show, which right now, I'm going to say this right now, this is not a backyard wrestling show what we're doing. This has nothing to do with wrestling. This is our personal beef as well. So you can hear things that you can't even handle. <laughs> the security of this place can't handle. So I might end up kicking your butt at the end of the night. Okay. But how we ended up meeting through the whole professional wrestler thing is we did the whole backyard wrestling thing together. His first match was with Sean Armstrong. And this guy had an ego like crazy. If you guys saw, I had an ego. This guy's head was bigger than, than the state of Texas. 
he came in on my show acting like he was the best wrestler, the best thing going on, and he was supposed to lose the match against Sean Armstrong, and me and him started betting heads at the professional wrestling. He became, he became an EO maniac. He thought that his, his stuff didn't stink. He thought he was the greatest thing walking around the earth. And, 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 then, and then it came up to where we started doing professional wrestling. He started wrestling with FWWA, if you remember that back in the day. Oh, yeah. And then he was starting to get all these title shots. And yeah, I was held in the back. I requested a match with him. I got it. He won that one. I don't know what was going on with that. And then we got back to doing the whole jarting thing, which I don't advise you to do. Get trained, to take, get that taken care of. So we started TWF. He turned his back on me once again to join the FWL. Again, like I said, you know, he was bragging about all this and that, that they were big and bad and all this and that. But I, I got an independence doing stuff, working with big name professional wrestlers. But again, that's what happened. So me and him, we had personal beef. I'm not, not only personal, but professional wrestling. This guy had a, an ego bigger than, than anybody. So, again, I didn't like him professional because he, he thought he was the, the greatest thing going. He thought he was the best thing around. His ego got in the way That's of everything. Right. He didn't sell any wrestling moves. Yeah, like that. Yeah, let's just say that it, it, it got beyond personal with professional wrestling. Now it's your turn. I don't have nothing to say. Why not? Come on, no. You got your podium. Go ahead. Speak. See, the one reason why I left you guys is because you guys kept having everybody else have two titles at the same time. So FWO got a hold of me. The future wrestling legends got a hold of me to come down and train that you didn't know about. So I did the training for them. Now I'm their head trainer. So this guy right here in the ring, one hell of a opponent. Help you not, I'll, I'll say that. He's one good opponent. But me, we do got a lot of beef. Because I have nothing to say on this one. <laughs> why, why, not, why not? I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, come on and really look at it. I mean, I've, I've met, we've had some kick. We had some good matches. Yes, she was the best opponent I ever had. We've had, we've had the dog collar match. Wait, I do. No, no, it was a chain match. It was chain a chain match. match. Yeah, we had a chain match. We had a cage match. Then you try to knock me out. You try knocking me out. <laughs> we had a cage match. No denying that fact. That uh, was a good cage match. We had too. a fatal four. I think it was a fatal four ladder match. Sean Armstrong, me, you, Iceman, and Killer. Rest in peace, brother. Yeah, rest in peace, brother. Um, let's see. We didn't have a back alley brawl, but no, like. No, we, we we talked about it before, but no, like I said, it, it just, the, the thing is, you know, you try to always outdo me, you try to be me. You can't deny the fact, you always try to be me, no I, matter what. Yes, I did, I tried to be you. You tried to be me, you try to uh, try to act like me with all kinds of things, and again, like I said, professional wrestling, it, it got, he he wanted to be the next me, he wanted to be, because I was going to actually pass the torch to him at one time, but again, like I said, things I hated, we started hate, we started hating each other in real life. To this day, I still have beef with this guy, I... I like I said, after that show, who knows what's going on. But again, like I said, it the wrestling business, your ego got out of, out of control. Now, I mean, people liked working with you. I didn't like working with you. I mean, I know if we worked together, we had good matches. But still, I didn't like working with you because, again, you Not know. Not solid moves? Personal beef came involved. But go ahead, Paul. Like I said, you have anything on here anymore? Nope. On? Go ahead. Okay, Jeff. Um. What are the two of you going to do now? Uh, how are you going to oh, you fix mean, things up, patch things up, or you're going to have to wait to the end of the show for that one. Okay, we'll go on to the next question. After this, what will happen next? Well, you, like I said, you have to you have to find out. But I want to talk about the personal beef because I know there's something about the personal beefs up there, isn't it? The personal is next, isn't it? Uh, that was where I asked you personal. Oh, the personal. Oh, okay, you want to go on this one on the professional? The personal one, or do you want me to? Go ahead, man. I have to. Hear All right, here first. we go. The professional. Yeah. Uh, I'll wait. The personal stuff. You went so as low. This is no script. This is how I feel. You went as low as sleeping with my ex-wife, try to claim as my kids as your dad. When in reality, I was there for my kids for day one. You know how mad that made me mad? You claim to be my best friend. You claim to do this and that. That stuff made me mad. I would never have done that stuff to you. I know. You did it to me. Mistake. 
still a mistake. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. You, you said that you apologize. Oh, Jeff, I'm sorry. I apologize. We'll get to I'll that. I apologize, too. We'll no, get no, to that oh, in a minute. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. But, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. This day, I still think, you know how bad that burns me to this day? Probably like, burns you a lot. It burns me a lot. To the point to that, to the point when all that stuff was happening, I wanted to murder you. I wanted to wow. legit kill you. Yes, legit, I wanted to kill you. Wow. Because you know as a man, that's one stuff you do not draw. Never claim somebody else's dad has kids, especially when I was there, day one. Mm -hmm. I would have never done that to you. I would have never snuck in on your ex-wife's either. That was damn wrong of you doing that. You know that. Oh, yeah, I know it was. Like I said, I wanted to kill you. I know, you probably still do to this day. Dude, I still think about that stuff. It still scars me to this day. I still bring it up to my kids. And but that you hurts. remember one thing. And that hurts You got to remember one thing. Well, you're going to have your opportunity to speak. Go ahead. Remember one thing. I told your kids not to call me that. I said, I'm not your dad. I'm your dad's best friend. Don't call me dad. But a best friend wouldn't do what you did. It was a mistake, man. Okay? It's mistake. Still, it's still I know hard. nobody it's, would have did that. It's still hard, dude. There's not days where I wish that I would have just took a gun and shot you. But I'm not going to lie. This, that, I, that's why we're getting this out and open. Listen, this, this is why we're getting listen, this out and open. It's time to get rid of the past, man. It's, it's the future, it, bro. It's time you, to... You got to realize... I know it's going to take it time. It still haunts me to this day. I know, but you got to understand my point, too. I told him not to call me dad. I told him that. I was hearing from other people that you pretty much were trying to try to adopt my kids. I would never do that to you. Never. Why would I do something Dude, like there, that? There's been points in the back. Not in the back. Why am I saying the back? <laughs> in the back. Why yeah, would back. I do that? I've got six kids of my own. Yeah, but hold on. I'm not finished what I'm saying. Go ahead. But people, because I know how you are. You stab me in the back. One minute, I'm like, hey, like, I guarantee it. After we leave today, they'll say talk all kinds of crap about me. Because that's what you normally do. I don't do that no more. Because you'd be like, oh, Jeff, you're my best friend. You're my pal. Yeah, man. I would never Hey, do Paul, that. come here. I got something to say. Yes. Jeff is a piece of crap. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you used to do that. I don't do that no more. So I'm I get a 360. I know people say that to change, but I still you got to still prove some points. But again, give your opinion about the personal. I'm letting you speak. No, I'm I'm good, man. You're right. You're good. No, I'm you're right. I was I was in the wrong. I was in the wrong. So as of tonight, as of today, on TV, you're leaving Sarah alone. Yeah, I'm leaving them all alone. You're not and I have no one. I haven't messed with them, but yeah, I'll leave them alone. I'm just saying because again, it's. I'm getting tons. Of, I'm probably gonna get tons of heat by doing a show with you, but I, I figured know. if we get this out and open right here, right now, I don't care who's watching. This isn't a reality show, right? This is legit, right? I don't say this isn't a reality show, but I want to get this off my chest. We've talked about this. You in have every right to. Two thousand what? Fifteen. We talked about doing this, but again, like I said, dude, that sixteen. Well, something like that, but it still irritates the hell out of me. But I still I think about it because it hurts my feelings. Because again, it's like you know. And then a couple times we got into a fight. Oh, I, I spend more money on your kids than you do. Uh -huh. I remember, see, that, that little stuff I remember, dude, and it still eats dude, me up. You don't can't you let it go? No, can't you I, just let it go? I can't let that it's go. It's over. I can't it's let over. that go. I'm not married to it no more. That's like, I'm divorced. I, I, I know, that's, but that's still a scar. That's still a scar in my head and my But heart. you got to remember one thing. She did us both wrong. Point proven. Point proven. But she did us both wrong. She went step with the same guy that she stepped with you on the first time. Point proven. Point proven. But you get what I'm saying? It still irritates the, he the heck out of me. Like, like I said, but I now, you want to know the problem? Why she with the drug dealer? That's, don't even get about that subject. I don't know. So. But like I, like said, I said, she did us both wrong. But right. she did something that you didn't know. She didn't come home and I took care of the kids while she wasn't home. She left and then never came back home until about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, well, that's between you and her, not me. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's between you, you two. Not... But this is between me and you and not her. Well, it's done and over with. So, okay. I'm good with that. So, to all this, it's time to let bygones be bygones. It's done and over. I've been friends with you for so long. Right. And when I leave here, I'm not going to talk behind your back. I'm going to tell everybody how good the show went just to piss them off. <laughs> right. So, that's all I have to say. Okay. I knew I'd get heated. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do now? Well, what I'm going to do now, I don't know just yet. 
but I would like to talk about some of the good things that we've done together. Um, we've had great wrestling matches. Again, like I said, we had the... In the ring, Sunset Hall. Oh, we had... The, come on, you stand up here. I'm not going to do anything, I promise you. I promise we you had, on TV, I'm not going to do anything. We had Sunset Hall. We had Sunset Hall. That was the first match of my debut. Yes. Because of you. Yeah, that was the FW... FWL. FW... No. FWL. I've never done stuff with them. Uh, we did a match in the ring. Uh, let's see, we've had... TV title was on the line. No, Yeah, it was uh, for the vacant TV title. You won that one. Yep. We've had the cage match, which yep. was the unified... That the was G good. The, the, uh, the uh, dog collar match. No, the, no, the, it was a chain match. Chain chain match was good. You won that. Yeah. No, you won that one, didn't you? No, you won that. Well, then how come I read on... <laughs> I read somewhere that he won, so again, I don't know. It's been several years. Um, you won that. We've had trash talking on here a couple times. We've done... Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's Where are we going to go after this? I mean, it, it, it's tough for me to say. Well, where I'm going to go with this? Because I'm just finding out some stuff now that I did not know about. Because where I'm going with this is to be friends again. So we can trust each other. I know it's going to take you time. Yeah. But you know what? That's why we're on TV doing this show. Yes, that's why we're... This is, like I said, this is no script. You was heated? Is, 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 there, is there a script? There's no script. As, you as was heated, I'm heated. I mean, I was done wrong just like you was. I mean, dude, I'm literally just shaking. Yeah. I mean, I would love to see. Listen, I was done wrong just like you was with the same guy she used to go out with before. Well, she I, both did us grind me on that. Yeah, but that's that's between her that, and... But you we're, know we're what? Talking that's about not about us, we're talking about me and you. We had plenty of good matches together. Pinfall counts anywhere. Yeah, First blood match. Oh, don't forget the porta potty. Remember, <laughs> porta potty, potty match. Where you put me in a porta potty. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. I just went, sorry. Put me in a porta potty. Porta trying to tip it over on me. I don't want to smell like that. Um, <laughs> yes, pretty much. I know. It's Not just that. You forgot one match. What's that? When you became the undisputed champion. That at was, Packer Park. That, that was that cage match. Yeah. Uh, no, it was two of them. We was in. No, we did one cage. It was two. We did. No, one. you were vicious venom. Yep, we was one at Lon uh, South, uh, not South, uh, North Sides. No, that was you as Vicious Venom. Yep, I didn't that's Vicious Venom, but you fought me in Packer Park, too. Yeah, no, I remember the Packer Park. Um, damn, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm a little bit, you want to go ahead, to, let's just, I need to calm down. <laughs> okay. Oof. Now, will there be any comments on what will happen next after this? Well, Go ahead, Eddie. Go. My opinion, Paul, thank you for doing your job. I'm hoping after all this, it got heated. You've seen it all. It's going to be on CD or whatever it's going to be on. It got heated. But I'm hoping at the end of this is all over that we become friends again because I want this off my chest. He's been my friend since, he, since we was little. And we burnt toast together, like he said. It was on D. Wallen. I remember. No, it was on Williams. It was on Williams because uh, you came over to my grandma's house. Yeah, it was on Williams because it was, yeah, it was you on know. Williams because I was living somewhere. I don't know. I'm somewhere hoping after the end of this, all over, that we become friends again. Now, a uh, little bit since you want to. So, here, I'll let you have it. No, no, go ahead. Tell people what you're doing now so people know what's up because I know we're, I know supposed to go an hour, but I know we're probably less than, but tell people what you've done, what you're, what you're up to and what you've been doing. What I've been doing, I've been wrestling the indie circuit, and I've been in and out of town lately. Um, I don't do backyard no more, but now I'm wrestling the indie circuit. But if it wasn't for this man sitting right here, I wouldn't be doing that. So I'll give him props on that. All right, I've got, I've got another question real quick. No, 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 stand up, stand oh, oh, oh. up. I promise you, I'm not going to hit I promise you, okay? I promise you, John, I promise you. After this, I promise you. So my question... I know that's not on on there. <laughs> you know how it is you do something that's no scripted. My question is, why do you want to be like me so bad? I mean, you went to the length of the personal part. Personal part is done. Personal part is done. But why do you want to be me so much? I'm nothing. I'm a nobody. Why did you? Why would you like you, yeah, Jeff? Why? Why did? Because I always looked up to you when we was little. We was like brothers. And now all this stuff came about with the wife situation. But a brother wouldn't do that to another brother. I know. <laughs> but like, like I said, I always have looked up to you. But Your wrestling career. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be wrestling. I mean, I don't if you get where I'm coming from. No, no, I get where you're coming from. But, I mean, 
you went to the desk. I mean, you backstabbed me. You oh, the not, not 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 personal, but also professional. Why did you backstab me, professional, when I helped you out? Because most people would not stick. Jeff, most people would not stick their necks out. The reason why? Because I I've I did what down. I did. Is because I was getting down wrong. I kept losing every single match when I was with you guys. I mean, it happens. I've lost every match I've pretty much done. You guys kept putting titles on people that didn't deserve the titles. Not only I'm talking about just not only just that, but I'm talking about the other company. You know, but not, I'm not talking about the CWF, company. GZWA, the histories that we had. Well, because you tried to outdo me again, and you tried. I looked up to you. You was like my idol. Why do you think I'm in professional wrestling now? That's that's true. Um, it's because of you. Thank you. That means a lot. And now I hear you retired. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? That's up to you. I mean, you, you live your own life. I live my life. I'm still kicking it. I'm still going. That's <laughs> you. I don't at have, least. I don't have at anything. least. I hope camera hears this. I at least want one more match with you. Why did I see this coming? <laughs> I've seen this coming, guys. I've seen this coming. I'm not trying to cut you off. Okay, Lee Angel has asked me to come back. You remember Lee Angel? Lee Angel yeah. asked me to come back. My friend Montrell Jones, rest in peace, brother. Love you, man. Tim Tober asked me to come back. <laughs> My childhood friend. Uh, I challenged Hollywood Rob, which she couldn't be here. We'll work something out together with you. One more match? One Why? more match. Why one more match with me? To see how how good do you are anymore. But if you could do this one match with me, one match. One match. I'll let you pick the separation. Oh, man, this is a tough one. One match. Just one. More match before you officially retire. No hose barred. Good movie by a brand new shirt, by the way. But anyways. Um, At least one more. Remember, we didn't finish our feud yet. One more match. Why does this always happen? I promise you. Everywhere I go, there's one more match. Uh, Paul, come here. Let me get your opinion on this. What do you think? I mean, you're the mediator. What do you think? Me and him, one more match. Uh, Jesus, I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you have a lot to... I mean, you've been through a lot. I mean, you got Remember. married. You Remember still see day. your boys every week. It's time for you... You have never beat me. I've beat you before. You beat me. No, we, we, we beat each other, but I just want one more match before you first to retire. Oh, man, I just had my last match. If I ever get late. What was it? Two th my last match was with Mike. It was 2016, wasn't it? Just because I started. Rest in peace, brother. Who? Kid X, is that who you're talking about? I'm not even going to get on the story with him. All right. Because he did the same thing that he did to you, to me. Yeah. But we're not going to bring that her in it anymore. This nope, is we're just us. between us. We got the personal one stuff. One more match. Personal stuff style. Just one more. You can decide now, or you can think about it. I'll think about it. Um, yeah. I, I'll do any remember, match. Remember, your career and your shows are not over. <laughs> Even though I say I'm going to retire. <laughs> Look at this. I caught one of your videos. Which one? I want to wrestle one more time. With me. Hmm. I know there was one match that we... You didn't hear who answered that question? It was me. Well, I know we had one match that we, we, we haven't done yet. That's why I want this one A match. A ladder match. That's why I want this last match. Well, technically, we did have it. Well, no. That no. was Reaper. <laughs> that was Reaper. 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 Uh, he's gone. He's dead. Oh, man. Dang, I don't know. I knew this was coming, Paul. I just knew it. <laughs> I, oh, my God. Win or lose. Why does everybody want me to come back? Why do you want me to come back for one more match against you? Because I never had a ladder match with you that I always wanted with you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think the show is going to only go a half hour because <laughs> pretty much I said how I felt. I understand how you feel. But I just, I'm, I'm to the point to where I'm, look, I'm literally shaking. Yeah, I see. I mean, I'm, because you first. But you know what? Pass the past, bro. Well, like I said, if you leave them alone. You know, I'll leave them alone. I told you. On camera, No I more told friend you, requests, no more. I don't talk to them. Okay. I'll consider, I'll consider the whole friendship thing. 
consider it. That's okay. not a guarantee. Yes, but I because I met when when we had our friendship. What did we used to do together? We used to go out to eat together. We used to travel. Do we something. used to travel. We used to hang out. Play video games. I come picked you up. Yeah. Hung out, played video games. Yeah, but it's just Eddie. You got to realize it's after all that stuff. It, it's it's still scarring. Like, I know. Like, I understand. Like, like, okay, I'm gonna use this as an example. Hey, Maury. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's Maury today. How would you feel if I did the same exact same thing to you that you did to me? Let's, let, let me put you in my situation right now. I'd well, feel the not, same not, way. Not, not, not situation now. I'd feel the same way. How would you? What would you do to me? I'd I, probably shoot you and kill you too. Exactly. I mean, do you get what I'm saying? Do you get because as a dad, you've got you've got kids yourself. Six. The only reality show, the Griswold Show, coming soon. <laughs> but no, how would you seriously feel if I were to today, which I'm not going to do? How would you feel if I did the same stuff to you as I did to all your baby's mamas? <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry I had to laugh, but how would you want to, come here. What? Would you want to kill me? Yes. Would you want to seriously hurt me? Yeah, I would, so just like I, you want to do me. So if I seriously did what, I did what you did to me, how would you feel? Same way you are, burnt and scarred. Yeah, you know, it still leads me up to this day. I've, I've, <clears throat> I've had days where I broke down and stuff, where I feel like I'm still not getting enough. That's why course. I ask everybody about you, see where you've been, so I can talk. Now, get the show on the road. Let me finish what I'm saying, please. <laughs> I still scarred to this day. I still think about that stuff, man. There's days that I'm at work doing my job, where I just want to break down because I feel like I'm not good enough for all the stuff that you put me through with my kids. Jeff, I seen you and your kids in videos, buddy. Do you get what I'm saying? You're a no. proud dad. Damn, darn right I am. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot I have a cover. But do you get what I'm you saying? Got, you got to let them hold both titles that I seen in one of your videos. I do watch your videos sometimes. I try to, but no. <laughs> but no, do you get what I'm saying? I understand how where you're coming you feel, from. How would you feel if I did the same exact same thing? If I were to go do that to you tonight? Well, I'm not going to. But I'm just saying. More power to you. Would you want to kill me? Would you want to hurt me? Really, to tell you the truth, no. Well, if the same scenario. No. Why not? Why not? Because I'm not like the old Eddie I used to be. So why are you changing? What's making, hey, Eddie needs to change? What, what made you decide that Eddie Riddle needs to change? Uh, Eddie what Griswold I need to change, to change. Yeah. is because I got baptized. Well. Just go ahead, speak on your form. Go ahead. Let, let, let people know why you changed. The reason Cause, why cause, I changed. Because me, because me, because what, what I see it, <clears throat> I'm hard to convince. The reason why I changed is because of my kids. And I've been having health issues just like you have. It's actually getting older. <laughs> I had a heart attack. Really? Mm hmm. I didn't know that. A mild heart attack. I almost died, I died on the table. But they brought me back. Wow. It's because of all the stress, because I tell you, doctor's office, I'm not pretty sure you agree with this, stress causes heart attacks. Oh, yeah, of course it does. And I, my chest has been hurting, so I've been going in and out of the hospital lately. So I know you said before you've changed a lot. You said I that to me. You, you said that to me in the past. Jeff, this is a new Eddie came today. I didn't have to come. I know you didn't. I didn't have to come, but you know what? Hey, I you did. know I appreciate you coming. <clears throat> I do you know appreciate why I you did? coming. Because I wanted to get this off my chest. Because I held over my head. I can't get it out. Well, we did plan this years ago. Not just that. I just found out I had bipolar, schizophrenia, really? and abuse of when I was a child. So I, I, I've been there when I've been abused as a child. So too, and stuff like that that's too. all about me, and I changed the three, did a whole 360 and changed my whole life around. I'm not like that no more. Wow. I don't know why people don't understand, but I, I'm not like that. Well, you got to also understand you've done people dirty like crazy a yeah. lot. So, I mean, it's kind of hard. Now, <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? It's yeah. kind of hard to, oh, I'm sorry, you apologize, 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 and then, hey, my name is Knife. Let me stab you. I'm not doing that. I don't do that no more. Right now, I lost my sister. I, I remember that. Your sister was a supportive of me even through all that stuff. That's, yep. But I don't want to bring up that part well, because, still, again. I'm, I'm letting it out. Yeah, and my sorry. sister's birthday's coming up Thursday. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. She died when she was 28 years old. And she was a, she was a, 
Wow. I just and everybody wanted... wants to know why I changed like I did? Because she smacked me in my face and made me change. Sometimes it takes, how should I say, I've, I've, I've heard this before, it, it, in order for that stuff like that to happen, and now, you got to go I, through hell to go through yeah. change. You know what I mean, you know yeah. what I mean. Now I'm trying to take care of my mom. My mom can't walk. What? She's walking on a, a cane now. Wow. I stay with my mom, I live with my mom, and I help my mom. That's a good thing. But she's going through. She's been going through heart attacks. She's been in another hospital. So you're saying that it's, it's taken a lot. It's taken personal life through trauma, abuse, and all that stuff to. Yes. I mean that's where we share share similar. Yes. Good, Paul. Go that, that's how we share similar aspects of things. Again, like I said, you know, because there's several times you can hear, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry," and then how can you? No, I am okay, sorry you because. Know? You, you know what I'm saying, Paul? So many times you hear, "I'm sorry," but yet it's like. I can't sleep at night because my mom, I worry about my mom and I go back and check on her and make sure she's okay. No, which is understandable for sure. Uh, That's any kid. Oh, yeah. I would do the same thing. But again, like I said, I just, now you know how I truly feel. It's like, I'm still shaking. I, I mean, I, I can't do anything physically. I mean, I'm to the point to where I still want to grab you, and, but I can't. No, I know. Because, you know, we're in the studio and we, I can, sit there and, 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 and we, came, and we came to an agreement. You heard it first on TV. And not on first on TV, but you know what I'm saying. What have I did for your kids though, when I was working up through the recession? You did, you did help us out. But I didn't ask you to, but you, do you get what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it still eats me up to this day. Again, like I said, you know, being being a, a dad that's been there in the kid's life and somebody tries to take over like a stepdad type of feel and acts like that they're better than me. It's happening to me now because Dory. Married so now, now, see, now, 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 coming, now it's like a revolving door. It's coming back at you. It's yep. biting you in the butt. And yep. It sucks. Yeah, because Dory's married to her husband Scotty, and he's he's trying to step up and take the place of my place. And it now hurts I know you. how you feel. And, and it, it hurts. hurts you because you're like, yep. So I hate to say this. Don't think I'm an, uh, being uh, being mean, but karma. Yeah, karma's a B. Yeah, karma. I still get karma this day, <laughs> but <laughs> no, okay. But okay. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm sorry. All right. I'm trying to calm down. I'm. Yeah. I either to... you have anything you want to talk about your future just before we close out uh, about what your plans are hopefully I'm going to say give me a couple of days after this because I'm hearing some stuff that I didn't know <laughs> and then you're hearing stuff that you didn't know I felt Yeah. so again like I said I will give you credit at least you have the consumption to come on the show most people if you got beef with somebody wouldn't want to come on, come on our show am I, am I making sense yeah but that's the reason why I did, because I wanted to get this off my chest and let everybody know what's going on. And again, this isn't scripted. Nope. I'm telling you, it's, it's bad. My mom can't even walk. She has, uh, she broke her ankle in three different places. She's got screws in her fa ankle. Oh, wow. She can't drive at night. We got in an accident last night. Oh, and you still came? Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry to hear about that happen. She hit, she hit a bump and wrecked her van, but no damage done to the van. Wow. Well, is there anything you want to say before we go? Hope this... I mean, get up there, say it, say your piece, and then I'll say I my hope piece. After all this, that all you out there that watch the show, if you guys did watch the show, that karma is a bee and she'll come back and get you. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so shaky. I need to stop. And I hope. We oh, can no, no, come on, come on, go ahead. finish, finish. And I hope we can be friends after all this. Now you know where I'm coming from, and now I know where you're coming from. Okay, well, let me speak. So my go piece. ahead. I'm gonna sit down here. My hip. <laughs> That's not even my horse anymore, because I'm not hip anymore. So, my, you know, my goal is to maybe be friends. Like I said, it's going to take me a couple, a while for me to decide, because we found some stuff out today where it, 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 it got deep. Um, whatever reflects is not on my ex-wife. She has nothing to do with what we talked about. It was on me. I had to get this out of my, li out of my, out of my personal beliefs. So, you know, you can be mad at me all you want. We're not here to make you look bad. It's not on you. To, we're not making you look bad at all. It's just we're getting things out. So again, like I said, I'm sure I'm going to take tons of heat for this. <laughs> I'm hoping to work things out. I don't know yet. Like I said, I'm still shaking. I never. I didn't think it was going to get that bad, but I knew it was going to get bad. <laughs> I'm sure Paul felt the felt how how crazy it was going to get. Uh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for. Well,
Thank you. I will shake your hands for thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, because not, not most people wouldn't do this. Well, it had to be done. Well, I had to get out and let everybody know how everything felt. Yeah, I'm done with my piece. Go ahead, Paul. Close the show if you want. But okay. now, I'm, now I'm doing basketball. Sweet. Yes. I want to thank both of you for being at this press conference. Um, hope everything uh, will work out well between you. Uh, me too. Uh, You've both been good friends of mine over the years. Wait, we, uh, we did that exercise show together, too. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. That was a good time, too. Yep. So uh, I, I wish the best, and I, I pray for, uh, uh, for each of you to be able to work out things in your, own, in your own way and that you can still remain as, if possible, friends for life, friends for life, because that's what we all need. Oh, yeah. And I say these things, and thank you. This has been a dose of Landis. And thank you. Bye.